Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use my free 3D beanie mock-up inside Blender to create your very own custom animations. Now I'll of course have a link in the description for this, but firstly you want to go to my Gumroad page, which is just brockcreative.gumroad.com. And here amongst a bunch of other mock-ups, we're going to find our free Blender 3D beanie mock-up. So we'll click on this. Now, in order to get this mock-up for free, you wanna go down to this box here and just enter $0. You can, of course, enter anything you like if you wanna leave a tip and support the channel, but it's not required. So we're gonna enter $0 and then add to our cart. And once you've extracted the zip folder, you're gonna have all the files that you need here to get started. So there's actually two different Blender files here. One is for the newest version of Blender 4.1 and one is for 3.6. I would recommend you upgrade to 4.1 as it's completely free, but this 3.6 version here is going to open up in whatever Blender version that you currently have. So we're going to open up this Blender file, and here's where we're going to be greeted with our 3D mockup. So in order to view the design, in the top right of the viewport, you want to click on the rendered view, and this is going to show you our template design, which is the guidelines in which you can place your logos or images or whatever you want to use on this 3D mockup. But we don't want to see this template design, we want to see our own design. So we're gonna go back into where we've unzipped our folder and we're gonna open up this Photoshop design file here. We're gonna see our different guidelines of where you can place your images or logos. But on the off chance that you don't have Photoshop, I've also included a design file here that you can import into Canva, Photopea, or whatever other photo editing software that you use that won't require you to have an Adobe subscription. So I already have my own design prepared here, which I'm going to copy and paste into this project. And here I can just move these into position of where they need to be. So these guidelines are only here as a placeholder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these off as we no longer need them. And if we wanna change the color of our beanie, you can do so by changing the background color here. But in my case, I just wanna leave this on black. So once we're happy with how everything looks, we're gonna go ahead and save our design. Or instead of changing the project, if you're more comfortable, you can export this as an image file, like a PNG or a JPEG, but it's totally up to you. So now we're gonna jump back into our Blender file. And if you notice that your mock-up is now pink, this just means that Blender is currently struggling to locate your design file. So in order to change this to our design file, we're gonna click on our beanie and make sure that we're under the material properties. And under the base color here, we've got this folder icon. We wanna click on that and we wanna choose our design. So our design is currently saved under yourdesign.psd. So you can either double click on this or click open image. And now we're able to see our design on the 3D mockup. However, if you opened up Blender and it wasn't pink, it was just stuck on this template design, you're gonna follow the same process by going under the base color and clicking the folder icon here. It just looks a little bit different. So now as you click play, you can see that your mock-up is doing a 360 spin and this is a seamless loop. So once it finishes, it's gonna start back over again. So now we're happy with how everything looks. We wanna render this out. To do so, we're first gonna to go to our output properties. And under output, where this folder icon is, you wanna choose where you wanna save your design. So by default, this mockup is set to render out as a video, but if you know how to use an image sequence, you can change this to a TIFF or a PNG file as well. And this is also going to render out as a transparent video, which just basically means that it doesn't have a background. But if you don't want that, you can go into your render properties up on the top here, and where it says film, you just wanna turn off that transparent checkbox. Now we can see that we have a background, but it's just plain white. What happens if you want this to be colored? Well, in order to do that, you can go to your world properties here and where it says background color, you can now change this to green, pink, whatever you want it to be. And now we're happy with how everything looks. We've got our settings set up. We can now go into the top left, hit render and click render animation. 